We actually do the editing and post-production for yes. uh, these guys' podcast. Mm-hmm. And it took me by surprise. It was like, oh, you're, you're, you're rebranding? Mm-hmm. Okay, what do we do? Because it, it's just as hard on us as it would be on yeah. you to rebrand if we're doing all the promotional stuff. But out of curiosity, what did you think of that rebrand? Why did you do it? What were the pros and cons about it? Uh, are you glad you did it? I'm really, I think that you rebranding your podcast is something that somebody listening is already thinking about if they should be doing that. So what were kind of your considerations and takeaways for that? Well, you know, before, just so the listeners know, before our show was called um, Investing for Good, which for a long time was the motto of Good Egg Investments. Um, And when we sat down to think, it, it was probably maybe a year into the show. And it was really looking back and thinking through, okay, who are the guests who have been on the show? And who are the guests who we want to have on the show? And is it really all about investing? um, Or is it about something bigger? And so that's when we started to think about, okay, well, it's really about this intersection of life and money. It's about how do you use money as a tool? How do you build wealth? And then how do you use that to create the life that you want to live, this meaningful and intentional life by design? And so it wasn't easy, but w- once we decided to do it, it was. Um, it took probably, I don't know, a few weeks there where we were like, okay, these are all the things that we need to be done. We had a spreadsheet and your team was fantastic and um, we're great partners throughout that process. And, um, you know, overall, I'm very happy that we did the rebrand because now it opens up the um, the range of what we cover in the show. So it signals to people currently listening to the show as well as future listeners that, hey, this isn't just about investing. You know, some people get, some people are intimidated by investing. They think it's not right for them or they hear investing for good and they think, oh, that's impact investing. So a lot of people have preconceived notions about that. And so now by opening it up to life and money, now we're talking about everything. It applies to everybody. And that's really what we wanted to be able to do is expand our reach and get our message across to more people, whether or not they decide to invest with us or join our coaching program, doesn't matter. It's really about providing value in a way that's accessible to them. (laughs) 